Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing good. And here we have DJI Mini 4 Pro with us today. In India, DJI Mini 4 Pro has a 120 meters off limit. So in this video, I'll be telling you an easy process to bypass 120 meters limit permanently on your drone. So guys, many of you were asking me what is the price of DJI Mini 4 Pro in India. So guys, DJI Mini 4 Pro is available in India at the price of 135000 we count the advantage on the DJI Mini 4 Pro, there are too many advantages with this particular drone. But there is one problem with this drone in India that is 120 meters. So that being said, every problem has a solution. So in this video, I'll be telling you a very easy process to bypass this 120 meters limit on DJI Mini 4 Pro. So here, let me wait till the RC is connected with the drone. Here I can see that RC is connected to the drone. We can go to the safety settings and in the safety settings you can scroll down and check for the max altitude so in the max altitude i can see that it is saying that 120 meters is the max altitude of the dji mini 4 pro but in some case when your drone is indoor the home point will not be updated and it shows some false information so not to put on more confusions let's take our drone outdoor and see whether we will be able to exit 120 meters or only 120 meters is the limit that we get on the DJI Mini 4 Pro in India. Let me quickly push our drone to the max altitude in the normal mode. I will not put it on the sports mode because I don't want to risk the drone when we have the 360 sensing capacity on our DJI Mini 4 Pro. So guys as you can see on the screen we are able to cross 100 meters. So we are and at the 120 the meters and that is the max altitude. So as you can see on the screen we have got an a message saying that this is the max altitude that we can reach with our DJI Mini 4 Pro. So guys, without wasting much of time, let's quickly go to the desktop. So when you come on desktop, you can open any browser and search for dronehacks.com. I'll mention the link in the description. No need to register or log in in the drone hacks. You need to simply click on download and download the latest version of the drone hacks desktop application. So the latest version is 1.35. So once you download, you open the drone hacks application. So ensure that this application only runs on Windows, not on the Mac or the Linux software. So you ensure that you are using the Windows laptop, uh, either Windows 10 or Windows 11, both are supported. You can use it on the desktop. Once the download is completed, you can open the drone hacks application. So guys, in the last video, people were commenting saying that their drone is not connecting with their laptop. So ensure that you are using the original drone hacks cable to connect your drone to the laptop and also you are using either Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11 laptop and you are also using a good data cable to connect your drone to the laptop but still your drone is not connecting to the laptop, then I have a solution for you guys. You have to simply go back to the Chrome browser or any other browser that you are browsing on and search for the DJI Assistant 2. So as soon as you search for DJI Assistant 2, you will get a first recommendation on the browser. So let me quickly search for DJI Assistant 2 here. Okay, so you have to go to the DJI Assistant 2 download center and you have to ensure to download the DJI Assistant 2 customer drone series. So recommended one is the customer drone series. If you are downloading the DJI Assistant 2 that will not work. You have to particularly select for DJI Assistant 2 customer drones. So in the DJI Assistant 2, it does not support for uh, Mini 4 Pro. So you have to select for DJI Assistant 2 Customer Drone Series. So here you can see that uh, we have a Windows application. You can download the EXE or the zip file. I am downloading the EXE, it's in the download. And once the download is completed, you can open the DJI Assistant 2. So guys, this process is only for the people who are facing a difficulty to connect their DJI Mini 4 Pro with the laptop. If you guys are not finding any difficulty connecting your drone with the laptop, then you guys can simply skip this process of using DJI Assistant and directly start with the drone hacks. So around 50% of the people are facing a connectivity issue. So it's recommended to use the DJI Assistant 2 customer series software on your laptop. So once the download is completed, you need to install the DJI Assistant and this is how it looks on the screen when you install the DJI Assistant and when you open it. So it will simply say uh, to connect your drone with the laptop and you use a good cable to connect the drone to the laptop. 
So guys, now the actual process starts. When you have the DJ Assistant and Drone Hacks on your laptop, you first need to open the DJ Assistant software on your laptop and close it before using the Drone Hacks. Then you just minimize the DJ Assistant and open the Drone Hack software. Once you open the Drone Hack software, you just have to connect your drone with your laptop with the good data cable or the original DJI data cable that we get with the drone. So after the first beep, you have to plug your cable to the drone and the laptop. So as soon as you connect your uh, uh, cable to the drone, so you'll start seeing uh, media files in your laptop. Just you need to minimize and see that the solid bar, green bar, which indicates that drone is connected with your laptop and you start seeing all the information. So you have to click on hack parameters. It will take around uh, two to three minutes to read all the parameters from your drone and display the configurations. So once everything is done, you start seeing the advanced parameters. You click on advanced parameters and in the search parameters, you have to search for max. So when you search for max, you have to select uh, height. So max height you have to select and just replace this 120 here to 500 meters so guys you will only be able to set it to 500 meters you cannot go beyond 500 meters the only limit is you can set it to 500 meters or anything below 500 meters so once you uh, click on right parameters to the drone you wait for two minutes once you do that process and after that you just unplug the cable and here let me start the rc and see whether the parameter has been altered or not. So guys, this process is a one-time process. You don't have to follow the process every time. This is quite simple and easy and free of cost. So you guys can use this process on your DJI Mini 4 Pro if you are purchasing it in India or if you are bringing it from other countries. So many people had the confusion that if I bring it from outside, whether it will have 120 meters or 500 meters limit. So it will also have the 120 meters. So guys, now our RC is connected with our drone. Let us go to the safety settings without wasting much of the time. So here, when we go to the safety settings, we just have to look for max altitude. So yeah, guys, perfect. Our hack has been perfectly applied and the max altitude says that it is moved to 500 meters. So as I said earlier, um, indoor data shows sometimes a false data on the drone. So let's take it outdoor and uh, let the home point get updated and let me start flying the drone. So guys, DJI Mini 4 Pro has a down sensing light, which is really superb at the night to detect the drone. And also it has a night mode, which gives a amazing video quality in the night time. So let's focus on the height now. So we have exceeded 110 meters. Yeah, we were able to exceed 120 meters as well. Let's push our drone to the maximum limit, whatever we can get. So let's be on a hold to see what we can get from DJI Mini 4 Pro after hacking the 120 meters of limit. So guys, till we reach at the 500 meters, let me answer your most asked question. So many of the people were asking me whether this hack will void the warranty of DJI drone. So guys, let me clarify this. With this hack, we are just altering the configurations. We are not doing any changes on the drone. So this will not void your warranty. This will just change 120 meters to 500 meters. It is not going to add any additional feature or remove the feature from your drone. So this will not void your warranty and even uh, this will not be detected by the drone. So just the configuration change that we are making on the drone parameters and we are getting it uh, possible to fly our drone up to 500 meters. And with this drone hacks, we will not be able to fly in any red zones. And I don't recommend you guys to fly your drone in the red zones. Only you will be able to fly your drone is in the green zones. And that is the most recommended one. You only fly your drones at the green zones. Let's see the height now. So height, we are able to reach up to 500 meters without any issue. That's superb. The hack is working totally fine on the DJI Mini 4 Pro. So you guys can use this hack without any worries. I have tested the quick shots and uh, written to home and all other uh, extra features that we get with this uh, DJI Mini 4 Pro everything is working as smooth as we usually get and also the 360 sensor is working totally fine with this hack as uh, said earlier this is not going to alter anything on your drone all the features are going to work as it used to work before the hack so guys this hack is going to be permanent on the smart RCs 
but on the rcn1 you have to apply this hack every time so only for the smart rcs it is going to be permanent and you need not worry much with that being said guys never update your rc firmware or the DJI aircraft firmware if you upgrade the firmware then there's a high possibility that your max altitude will be reset to 120 meters additionally guys DJI Mini 4 Pro is super accurate in its RTH so when we compare it with the DJI Mini 3 or uh, Mini 2 Mini 2 and Mini 3 used to land approximately with 3 or 4 feet radius but DJI Mini 4 Pro lands very accurate so guys just here I have rebooted the DJI Mini 4 Pro and just I'm checking out whether the hack remains or just vanishes. So here on the max altitude you can see that still we have the 500 meters after the reboot. So guys that's it for this video guys I hope you have liked this video and found this video informative. If you need a comparison video between DJI Mini 4 and Mini 3 Pro do let me know in the comment section I'll be happy to make a video on this topic. So that's it for this video guys I hope you have liked this video and found this video informative. If you guys found this video informative do it a like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll meet in the next video till then take care bye bye.